First of all, uh, congrats on the new gig. I, I know life is crazy, and you've been coaching like crazy for Georgia and getting all that stuff going. Now you got this opportunity. It's time to recruit, recruit, recruit. Uh, what was it about this opportunity to go back to the Northeast and say, guess what? I can turn Syracuse around and let's go. Just get the opportunity to go back home. You know what I mean? Get a chance to be back uh, where I'm from. A uh, chance to go and recruit uh, the way it was done before. Like I told the guys earlier, when we all talk about it, you know, my first college game I've ever went to was to go see Syracuse play against Wisconsin. And, um, you know, we had joy. It was a great game to go see. All the kids from my neighborhood had an opportunity to go down and watch Donovan Darius play and Donovan McNabb and uh, Dwight Freeney and just all those guys that could play ball. So we got a chance to go down there and see everybody play football. So we was truly excited. But um, just getting a chance to go back home and really to try to go – mimic what I saw Pascaloni and George DeLeon and those guys do. So that was really the reason for me trying to get back home. All right, Coach Brown, you've been part of a championship program now for a couple of years, back-to-back -back national championships. What did you learn from being part of that um, and those two runs to a national championship that, that you feel like you can bring to a Syracuse program that you now take over? What applies from there that you want to implement here? Um, every day is important. Practice is everything. You know, we practice, practice, practice. Without practice, you won't be able to compete in a game you want to. And um, we take every opponent the same. The one thing that I learned from Coach Smart, no matter who you were about to play, and not to diminish or put any team down, but whether we were about to play against uh, UAB or we were getting ready to go play in the national championship against um, TCU, we prepped the same. You know, it was the same preparation, and we just enjoyed it. You enjoy competing, and Coach Smart just had that fire in him, and he kept the fire in all the kids. And... You know, I learned to just, like, never take anything for granted. And every opponent, man, we treat them all the same way. Uh, putting together a staff is obviously priority one. Uh, I was impressed with the fact that Elijah Robinson's joining in. There was a lot of folks that were buzzing about maybe Elijah was going to be the guy at A&M taking over for Jimbo. Uh, just talk about putting this staff together and how important Elijah will be in the big mix. Um, Elijah's really important because uh, – we really want to win. We want to win here really fast, and we want to do it within the next few years. We want to win this conference. So uh, being able to do that, you need a guy like himself. I think Elijah will be a head coach real soon. So I had to make sure that we hurry up and got him here on board. We had to compete to get him. I mean, he's one of the best coaches, if not the best coach at his position in the league. And then with all the experience he got from being there with Jimbo all that time and working with all those guys in the, in the defense and uh, where I was at, we kind of ran the same defenses. So it was cool for us to be able to come back together. But um, I think Elijah will play a major part. He's going to play a major part in recruiting. He's um, really second to none. I think he's one of the best in the country, if not the best. I mean, he recruits his butt off. The kids love him. He's personable. I mean, he's a great father, he's a great husband, just all the things that it takes to be a good coach, and uh, Elijah's is that. So, you know, we, I had to do everything I could possibly do to get him. I was stressed out over it for a little while when it was, seemed like it wasn't happening fast enough, but I'm uh, extremely happy that we got him, man. He's going to be a major part in us being able to go and get that championship. Stressed out in college football? Never. That doesn't yeah, apply. Yeah, uh, Coach, <laughs> what, how would you describe the style of ball that, that your team, the products you'll put on the field next fall, what, what it will look like? I know I heard you use the word DART, the acronym DART. So explain to us what that means and, and how it applies on the field. So really just like DART is just a detail, accountable, relentless, and tough. And trying to do that in all aspects of our lives. You know what I mean? One thing we will be able to do, we got to be able to run the football. If you can run the football then that's going to help you be able to open up other things. And then, you know, on the defensive side, we got to be able to stop the run. And that's what I learned, like, so much. And Coach Smart stressed it a lot. Coach Muschamp, that was, like, their major thing, that we had to be able to run the ball and stop the run. And I think it opens up everything else. You know, guys are asking, uh, what offense are you going to run? What are you going to do? I mean, we're going to try to do whatever they can't stop. You know, and try to keep doing it and keep doing it until they can stop it. You know, we're going to want to have a lot of fun. But uh, it'll be unique. It'll be fun. We will play with a tight end. Um, we will play – multiple personnel. You know, we're going to have a lot of fun on both sides of the ball. We're going to be able to go in and out of three down front, four down front. So we'll be excited about what we're going to do in a football field. I think you're just going to be excited about the passion and the energy that the coaches and the players are all going to have. You know what I mean? We're going to all be on the same page. We're going to all be connected. You'll understand and know that, okay, that's a team of a bunch of guys that love each other. They care about each other. You know, they spend a lot of time together. Because it's not really so, so much about what happens on Saturday, but what's going on from Sunday through Friday before they get to the game. 
You know, are you spending time with them when they need you to spend time with them? Are you there and around the kids when they're going through personal situations because they still got normal weeks? But Saturday would just be a product of all the things that we go through all week together as a family. And then we get a chance to go out on the field Saturday and take it out on somebody else. Coach, uh, you have a reputation as not a good, but a great recruiter. Um, number one, what makes a great recruiter? And, and when you walk into somebody's house, uh, what is it about having that knack to connect with people? Is, is, it, is, is it a natural thing with you? Was it something you worked at? I'm just curious because the great recruiters just seem to have it when they walk in a room. What is it? I don't know. I'm happy you said that. I got it. That's from your mouth, not mine. <laughs> but uh, it's really just like my upbringing, my subculture, where I'm from, born and raised in Camden, New Jersey. And, uh, you know, you just see different things. You see a lot. And you try to fit in. You got to fit in in different ways. Like at one point, lived in several different parts of the city. Uh, you grew up where I grew up at. You might live out Pollock. You may live out Centerville, out Parkside, downtown, East Camden. And you had to adapt different because everybody acts different in all different places. But the one thing I've always been able to do is just be myself. And I think that's why I got where I'm at now. And I'm just real genuine. I've never been fake. Just kind of talk to people about, you know, what it is. And just being able to listen. You know, a lot of guys do all this recruiting. And they're going with these whole pictures, and then I'm going to come afterwards, and I'm just going to tell the truth. We're going to have real conversations. And so all the stuff that you wrote down and you thought about and went through, I kind of really never do use that. I just speak from the heart, man. I'm just being genuine because I have no time to make up lines or try to remember lies. I'll tell you the truth, I don't got to remember anything, and we just have fun. And you start to know that I'm a part of you, and we become family. And then once you become a real family, because everybody says it. Like right now, we'll say, hey, at Syracuse, we're a family. Hey, guys, I just got here. How the heck come family with everybody? I don't know everybody here yet, so we're not family, right? We're trying to get the grow to become family. We're going to work on being family. And we just, uh, I just have fun, though, and I'm just myself, and I'm honest. But I truly believe I became a good recruiter because of my subculture and where I'm from, born and raised. It helped me a lot being able to make it through different parts of the town, being out Centerville, like I said, Parkside, Pollock, East Camden, that helped me a lot. Coach, when you uh, walk into a house and mama has got all kinds of great food, sometimes it's not great. Uh, <laughs> how do you get through that when it's not great? And all of a sudden you're going, and would you like seconds, Coach? I mean, it, it, it kind of walk us through when you go through one of those moments. So first off, you can't eat all day long. Just drink a lot of water. Don't eat. <laughs> and then it depends on how good that player is. <laughs> you, know <what> I'm <laughs> so you better hope you with another coach and say, I, am, I just got done eating. He hungry, though. So you got to push it to the other coach. But it depends how good he is. So if this kid could really play ball, we're going to eat it. You know, I had one story. It was one time. Uh, I'm not even going to say that, but I'm not sure. But, you have to tell hey, me the it'll player. Be funny. Going to give me the story. Hey, just, I ain't going to tell you the player, but ask Coach Rule about that food food that we had to eat. Uh, and he'll know what I'm talking about. We ended up not getting a kid either. We were so upset, man. Just ask Matt Rule about that food food. He'll, uh, he'll be laughing funny. about that. Bad food and a no. Okay, so. If, but if it's a five star, we're eating. That's right. If it's a five star, we're going to eat. That's right. You got You got it. It just depends. You got to eat. It depends on who you got in front of him when he comes. <laughs> Do we got to play right away? <laughs> you know where he at? You know? All right, Coach, so you've been officially introduced. Uh, now you came on the plane. You had your little girl in your hands. It's 443 on a Monday. Now what? Now what does Coach Brown do? Shit. I'm about to go back and finish recruiting. I'm meeting with our players. We all got a bunch of meetings. I'm trying to meet with every player on the team before Wednesday, and then I'm back out. I'm going to recruit later tonight. So I'll be out late tonight coming out to recruit. Hey, coaches, don't get scared. I ain't going to see a guy. But I'm uh, going out to recruit later on tonight. We'll be out recruiting. And then um, be back here tomorrow meeting with players again and meeting with different coaches, you know, because, I mean, this is the time of uh, a new, new head, co head football coach coming in. So there's transitions. There's different moves. So some of the uh, meetings that I have to have aren't good meetings, you know. Uh, you're changing some people's lives. So being able to talk to him and making sure that making sure that they get the time that they need, making sure I sit there with them and talk to them and let them know that I appreciate what they're doing now and hope they want to finish out or vice versa because uh, I think this is important that you sit here and I speak with everybody on the team before I go out and just start recruiting and offering kids and doing all that. That's why I made it my business that you didn't see any offers from Syracuse or things moving out like that from Syracuse before I uh, had the opportunity to address the players and address the staff. By the way, uh, reaching out to, to former players and Syracuse alums, I know that's been something that you thought would be really, really important, have that an open-door policy. 
Mm-hmm. We're going to follow yeah, through that I think it's uh, really important. You kind of cut off a little bit, but I think it's really important. I want them to be here. This is their home. You know, if I could, I would go back to Western Carolina every other week if I could go watch them practice and be around and see how they're playing and see what they're doing. I mean, it's nothing like where you went to school at. So this is their home, and I want to make sure they understand and know they have an open door, like, policy. They just called me the night before. Let me know you're coming. Like I told them earlier, guys, if you're coming and you're around, you could come say whatever it is you need to say or whatever you think. doesn't mean we're going to automatically always listen to exactly what it is, but I'm going to take into consideration that you play here, that you've seen it, that you know what it's like. And especially if you were from that old school era, those guys that just played football the right way. You know, and there's nothing towards the coaches that were right before me or right after Pascaloni and things of that nature. I think those guys are amazing coaches. That's why they got to this level. But I'm just looking for a certain brand of football. And I think the best way to see it is for the guys that play here before to be up front and close and watch it and see it in practice and talk trash. And I ask them to do stuff and we bring them out for little competitions. Like, we just want to have fun, guys. And I want, the old, I want those guys to be a part of it and come back and see us having fun. So that way when we win, they know they help do it. They help build it. Hey, Coach, real quick before we let you go, how much orange did you previously have in your wardrobe uh, to get you through at least this next week? Uh, I got enough now. I know one thing that I'm about to go, I'm going to go grab them uh, orange and blue Bo Jacksons. You know what I'm saying? So it's a little sneak that was out when I was young. So I'm definitely going to make sure I link up with some nice little orange stuff. But uh, you're going to see me. I'm going to be dressed pretty cool. I got a little bit of swag with me, so you'll check it out. It can't be too much orange. You got to be just enough. You know, just like the little casual sweater I got on top. So I'm going to make sure it look right as you see it. I like it. Listen, Coach, again, congratulations. Uh, we look forward to many, many interviews with you down the road. I know you're going to be busy with staff and recruiting, uh, but we wish you nothing but the best. I really appreciate that, and I wish you guys the best. Y'all be safe, all right?